All right, thank you. It all came out, and then this lady was having an amazing time, and she really got the party started. Happy birthday to you! Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Boom! What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joannis or Joe Hatagua. I'm a Sierra Leonean American now living back in Sierra Leone. And if you wanna know what my first week back was like and my birthday was like here in Sierra Leone, then this is the video for you. All right, so last week we talked about the chaotic seven days before I left Ghana to come to Sierra Leone. Now we're gonna talk about the first week that I was here and it was just as chaotic, but in a good way. There's a lot that happened I'm gonna go through all of it. So let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, um, when I landed, I went straight to the place that I'm staying, got showered, got changed, and then went straight to Bombay. So if you guys might remember, uh, we went to Bombay in uh, December of last year. Iris Star and Ruger were the performers. They were the two headliners each night. Uh, this year, it was one night, it was at Radisson Blue, and Oxlade was the headliner, and Shadowboxer, who's a local artist, uh, went on before him. So, I'm gonna show you a little bit of that. Uh, I'm gonna do a whole completely different vlog with the whole thing, but just get a chance to see what it looks like. Let's take a look. So I just wanted you guys to see the crowd size. As you can see, it was a massive crowd. Um, we were standing up in the VIP, but we wanted you to see what it looked like. <laughs> For copyright reasons, I can't play this song from Oxlade, but he came out with the Sierra Leonean flag, which I thought was really dope. Um, it was really fun to see him engaging with the crowd, and his music is lit, so it was a good time. All right, so that was the Bombay Festival. What did you guys think? Did you expect to see performances like that with big Nigerian artists here in Sierra Leone? Let us know in the comments below. Definitely want to hear from you. Um, and if you thought it was good, let me know too. Um, all right, cool. On to the next. All right, cool. So next was an event called A Night with the Uncles. Very grown. Um, they had cigars that they were selling there. Um, top shelf liquor for those who like to drink. Um, really nice event where people got dressed up and it was great for networking. It was one of those events where, um, you know, you meet the elite, top of the top, creme de la creme, right, of, of Freetown. Really uh, interesting conversations for sure. I will say uh, the performances were great. There were a lot of great performances, so I'm going to show you guys some of those. Um, Shadowboxer, again, was kind of the headliner for this event. Um, it was kind of an intimate setting with a band there and they performed. Uh, the food was made by Unruly Kitchen, so that food was pretty good too. So I'm going to do a whole separate vlog for A Night with the Uncles, but I do want to give you a little piece of it, so check it out. Alright guys, so um, I'm going to an event called A Night with the Uncles. All right, guys, so I'm going to an event called A Night with the Uncles. Um, I'm going to show you the flyer here, right there. Uh, yeah, so I've never been to an event like this. Apparently, it's supposed to be a good time. Uh, the people who are throwing the event, my friends know them, and they, they say they always throw good events. So I'm um, kind of looking forward to it. It's supposed to be grown and sexy, they say. Come dressed, um, you know, dressed up, whatever. Um, I'm going to come dressed up for Sierra Leone. I guess we could do a fit check in a second once I once they get here because it's really hot where I am right now. The AC is not on. 
Um, but we'll do a fit check, and you guys let me know if you think I look good. So, uh, but yeah, we're about to we're about to meet up and, and head out. So, stay tuned. All right. So when you walk up, uh, it's a little bit of a walk to get to the main area where you sit. Um, outside, it's a little darker, and they had the uh, the art show to the left, which I'll show you in the main vlog. But this one, I'm just doing a quick showing. So as you walk in, you see. There are plenty of chairs set up. There's a place for the band to play. Um, really nice instrumentation set up, nice seating. It was really like a nice intimate setting. We got there a little early, uh, Salon Man time. But this is the bar, as you can see. Uh, they had a couple of different options for drinks, for cocktails, wines, and spirits. Um, and then they had a food menu that they brought around, which I wasn't able to capture, but you'll, in a second you'll get a chance to see the vegan option that they made for me. So it was plantains, it was cabbage, it was um, tortillas, and it was good. You see me eating this? <laughs> and by the way, I almost forgot to film because I, I saw it look so good. I just had to jump right in and eat it. But you can see it on my face. It was really good. I gave you guys a thumbs up already. It was time to crush it. So I went in. As you can see, I was just eating it like no tomorrow. Didn't care how it looked. Not even worried about how it looks on camera. I forgot, honestly, that I was filming almost. The food was so good. But I definitely recommend it. Unruly Kitchen. I'm going to be interviewing, uh, of course, another thumbs up. I'm going to be interviewing Simchi from Unruly Kitchen at some point, And you guys will get a chance to hear her story. But plantains were good. The whole thing was good, man. I was just, like, really enjoying the food. I'm glad um, she was able to make something that was vegan-friendly. Um, which is great because, you know, you know how these things go. Me being a vegan, I never get the kind of food that I want to eat. So that was great. All right. So next we went over to the cigar table um, and I got some cigars. And I don't smoke cigars, but, you know, it was nice for the crew to be able to get some cigars from the cigar lounge. So I had the guy, of course, cut it for me um, because I actually don't know how to cut a cigar. So he had it set up. He cut it for me. Um, and then he had to light it for me, too, because uh, I'm not necessarily the uh, cigar aficionado. Uh, and then I took it over to my friends. And then, of course, there's Yeneva enjoying a nice cigar. You know, knowing what she's doing here, this isn't a first. And then, of course, you got Sylvia and Isaac over here talking. <laughs> Sylvia enjoying a cigar. Uh, and then now let's get into some of the performances. You guys got to hear this stuff. It's really good. Be cool to yourself After much consideration If you know good for you You deserve you neglect Some things to make you smile Some things to make you cry Fix your crown Does the dirt of your shoulder Come along Love. You can 
come to me. You try and have a long talk about your life problems, taking a long walk, you can run to me. Minus the tears building up, what else do you see? Perfection of a queen, image of a goddess, picture of perfection, answer to every question, beauty in HD. Yeah, you love this. Be you, my heart, my soul, head and toe. All this, but there's more to it. How do I know that I'm in love? You know that feels so good. Sit love. It's what she said to me. It's like me having a perfect world like an angel had to grant to me. No other woman would ever be as beautiful as the woman who's almost as beautiful as you. Here we were just testing out the camera to see if it worked because we were going to take some pictures, but I forgot I was recording. <laughs> and so we're recording Sylvia so in a conversation. They're going to be an Isaac jumping in the picture. <laughs> All right, cool. So that was a night with the uncles. What'd you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video so far, hit that thumbs up. And of course, maybe share this with anybody who you know is planning to come to see early on. All right, cool. On to the next. All right, cool. So up next was the Power Women 232 Lux brunch uh the brunch was great lots of great people more networking more people to meet uh, more people that i've actually met that i'm going to be interviewing so i'm looking forward to sharing those interviews with you power women 232 brunch the lux brunch um, which was a really really nice brunch uh, i also met some really interesting people that i'm looking forward to interviewing and sharing with you as well uh, but i just want to take you to the event because it's a really nice event again grown events um, everybody was dressed to the nines, really nicely done. I mean, I, I love to see things like that here in Sierra Leone. You don't see them too often, so when you do have these kinds of events, everybody shows out. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, guys, so it is the day before my birthday, and I'm about to head to the Power Women brunch. Um, it's the brunch that they do. They haven't done it yearly, but they've done it. This is the second one that they've done. Anyway. Um, it's an upscale brunch. I'm looking forward to it. We'll do a fit check later, but I got to run out the door because my ride is here. So, check it out. Yes, What's up? Of course. Three drink tickets. Nice. The bar is back to the right and brunch is on. Enjoy. Thank All right, you. thank you. All right, so that was the entrance and Joe giving us a greeting and giving us our, our drink tickets. Uh, so that we could get our free drinks. Uh, she also let us know that brunch was served. So as you walk in, you can see they have a step and repeat. Everybody was over there taking pictures. Then they have like one of those 360 video views. Another area where you could take pictures. Just very nice overall ambiance. Like this is, this is what we like to see here in West Africa. I mean, this is very much like what you could see in the Maldives or in, you know, any one of the places that you would guess in Europe. But this is Africa. This is Sierra Leone, so it was really dope. You see everybody was dressed up, dressed to the nines. Uh, the theme was Africana, so a lot of people dressed in the Africana wear. Some people just wear like really nice brunch clothes, but you can see all the different styles and how it all came out. And then this lady was having an amazing time, and she really got the party started. Like once she started dancing, you can start to see that people also started dancing as well. It was like a little bit, you know, sometimes you kind of need someone else to get hype and get everything going. So at first everybody was kind of just relaxing and chilling, and you can see kind of everybody chilling right now. But in about two seconds, when she gets going, everybody starts getting going. So here we go. Now, as she pans around, you see everybody starts dancing now. Everybody started dancing. It just took one person, one person to get the party started. But uh, yeah, sometimes it just takes that to get people going. Um, she was fearless as she was going. And look at the whole crew now. The whole crowd is dancing. Good times around, all around. I myself was in the background chilling. I wasn't getting in there. I was not I was not getting in that I was not getting in that I was not trying to sweat. It was a little warm that day. But really good time though. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So I'm glad we got a chance to do it. There's my man Isaac dancing. A few Americans in town. And of course my solo shot. This is my solo. I love to do these things. It's 360 video views. Whatever you call these things. I don't know what they're called, but they're great. Uh, and so of course I had to do it. As always, every time there's an event that has one, it was great. It was a good time. All right, cool. So that was the Power Women 232 Lux Brunch. What did you guys think? How did you guys think of every, how everyone was dressed? Let me know in the comments below if you liked how everybody was dressed. And of course, what you, would you think about my outfit? I definitely want to hear from you guys. You know, fit check as I always do. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments below. But if you like this, give it a thumbs up. And if you know anybody planning to come to Sierra Leone and wants to know what kind of events there are so they can see what life is like here, make sure you share this with them. All right, cool. On to the next. 
All right, and then last is my birthday lunch. So um, the day of my birthday was on a Monday, and you know I go live every Monday night. So instead of going out that night, um, I decided to do a lunch, and it was a really good lunch. Lots of um, smart, interesting people, really good conversation. At this age, at this big age of 30, 39, wow, of 39, um, I, I enjoy more conversations than being out at the club, popping bottles, standing on couches. You know, at 29, I did that. But at 39, it's really more about conversations about how we progress um, as a culture, as a country, as a continent. Um, ideas around things that we can do, business ideas, content ideas, just so many different things were discussed. Um, my cousin came and he talked a little bit about The German King, the short film that he uh, produced and directed and starred in that I co-produced as well um, and that we are working on a series on. Um, then another cousin of mine was talking about her move. She's moving to Ethiopia. Uh, we had other people come and talk about their businesses. It was great. It was really good. And um, I really appreciated the time that we spent. And this is really how I like to spend my time on my birthday. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump right in to... So the Country Lodge is one of my favorite places. Just overall, I like it. But first of all, they have a nice pool. I didn't want to get anybody swimming, but there was a nice pool. And then they have a nice like little view. I mean, the day was bright and shiny, but it was a nice little view overlooking and uh, lots of nice clouds and whatnot. But just wanted to give you an idea of what it all looks like. A lot of people don't like to be on camera, so I tried my best not to get a ton of people on camera. Um, just wanted to give you guys a view of what it looks like over the edge. So this is this is what the one end looks like. And then I'm gonna take you over to the table where a few of the people were sitting. Some people were a little late, but I'm gonna take you to the table where a few folks were there. There's my cousin Tox, there's Bandu, there's Joe, there's Joe Ta and Isaac. Sylvia and friends were still coming. Here was my vegetable spring rolls. So that came out first. And then of course I wanted to show you the food. I also did like a potatoes and a salad, and then I did fried rice. Not a salad, the potatoes was um, with like some kind of tomato sauce or something, but it was really good. Um, but yeah, and then I had the fried rice. And then of course, you wanna see how I thought about it? We're gonna see. Yeah, I'm, I'm not in my head, I said it's good. Gotta do it again for verification. Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Thumbs up, there you go. Then how's the rice? Let's try the rice, how's the rice? Also good. So now let's try the, the vegetable spring rolls. Let's see. What do I think of the vegetable spring rolls? Let's see what my face says. What am I gonna say? What do you think? Oh, it's good. Thumbs up. I gotta get another bite. Yeah, why not, right? Just to let you know. Happy birthday, dear Joe. You guys gotta let me know so I can film it. Happy birthday. Surprise me. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. The birthday lunch. All right, so that was the birthday lunch. What'd you guys think of that idea of having a lunch for my birthday? So we went to the hub. I like that place, the food is really good, uh, the atmosphere is cool, nice like view, all of the above. So what'd you guys think of the birthday lunch though? Um, would you have done something different? Is, is, is my life boring now that I have birthday lunches instead of going out and doing like a big night out at a party or a club? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you know anybody planning to come to Sierra Leone and is looking for somewhere nice to eat, then share this with them as well. All right, guys, so that's it for this week. So last week, we talked about the chaotic move to Sierra Leone and, and what that took. Um, in the next weekly vlog, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the chaos that ensued when I got here. Um, the power, the internet, the water, all of that, and the solutions that I'm putting in place to make sure it works so that you guys have them as well. But that's going to be next week, so I'll, I'll, I'll give that to you next week. But for now, thanks for watching. See you all in the next video. All right, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, like, comment, and share it with your friends. 
All right, see you on the next video. So if you, if you wanna see the chaotic vlog from me moving from Ghana to Sierra Leone, click up here. If you wanna see anything else from my move and my stay here in Sierra Leone, click down here. And then of course, if you wanna to subscribe to the channel, make sure you subscribe by clicking over here. All right guys, thanks for watching. See you all in the next video.